Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I couldn't think of just one thing to talk about, so I'm going to edit a photo from start to finish. Just see what happens. And show you a lot of different things. So I picked this picture because I like the way that the boardwalk kind of moves you through the photo. And then it comes out at the top in this bright corner over here. But there's lots of things we could do to it. Um, it's got some distractions right here that we need to get rid of. And the colors could be a little brighter. And I want to add some shadows at the top here and at the bottom in the corner down here. Just to help kind of guide us through the picture better. So, first thing we're going to do is get rid of the people over here. And we do that by making a new pixel layer. And selecting the in-painting tool brush. And then up at the top you want to make sure it says current layer and below. And then on the new layer, you just paint over the parts you don't want. And not just the people, I want to get rid of this tree here as well. Make it more, more of the bushes, just so that there's a solid wall of bushes kind of going through here. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of this too. Just anything that's kind of distracting in the picture. This is an easy picture to do in painting on because it's got all this texture. So I'm also, I want to, um, I want to kind of remove this bush here just to make, make everything the same. So we're going to use the clone brush for this. And at the top, it also needs to say current layer and below. Use your alt key to click for your starting point. And then just kind of clone over the bushes. You can do it in a few different places. There. That way it just sort of blends in. Okay. That looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these macros that I made. I'm going to add the Rich Warmth one. And by the way, if you want the macros, they're free. You can download them on my website. Their link will be in the description below. So you just click on it, and what it does, there we go, <laughs> what it does is it adds a white balance and a curves layer. And I like the way the white balance makes those greens and reds look, but I don't so much like the way that it makes the yellows look. I think I want to adjust this curves a little bit. I think I actually want to bring up the center, brighten that back up just a little. I may even bring down the shadows a little bit more. There. Okay, but we're going to leave the white balance the way it is for now. We can always go back and change later if we decide we don't like it. But I'm going to change these yellows using a selective color layer. Put it on top there. Alright, so we want to make sure yellows is selected. And then we're going to just kind of start by taking out the reds and it's gonna look it's going to change the whole picture but don't worry about that just look at the yellows get them the way you want and then I'll show you what to do so I think we want to lighten these a little and that actually looks pretty good I don't want to have too much red in my yellows let's see what happens if we move the blue uh, maybe maybe somewhere around there we'll try that Okay, now hold control and push I, and that will invert the layer so that it's now gone. To get it back, we're going to get our paintbrush tool, make sure we have white paint, and then we are just going to paint over the parts we want. That way it doesn't affect the whole picture, it only affects the parts we paint. And uh, it's really hard with my mouse, so I'm going to use my finger to paint over these parts. It doesn't show a cursor when I'm using my finger, so sorry. <laughs> but I am just painting over all this yellow grass. And then up here in the corner, I want to paint these trees also, and then maybe the grass around it. Just because I like that yellow better than that orangey yellow. Okay. 
And now, I think I want to add that light. So we're going to go to layers. <clears throat> Sorry. New light filter layer and lighting. All right, first I always get rid of the specular. Oh, hang on a minute. It's not working. There we go. I need to make sure it's on top. Now we can see it. And we're going to put this one up in this corner. And then I want to add another one down in this corner. And that kind of just shadows the cor the edges there, and it just pulls your eye right through the picture. So we can play with these if we want, really focus them. I think we want that one like that. Let's go back to the first light. I make that one a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, if if the subject here is a little bit too dark. Sometimes I will add another light and make this one a point and make it really small. And just put it right there on her. I can keep going, make it smaller. There. So now when we look at it, she's lit. The corners are lit, so your eye just goes right through the picture. She might actually be too bright. Let's make sure we're on light number three. And let's actually make it, let's see, let's go 0.5, if it'll do points. Yep, there, just a tiny bit, oh, it goes to one, one's as small as it gets, all right. Might take it off later if we don't like it. All right, and now I think I want to add a few highlights to these trees. So we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to make sure we have the paintbrush and white paint, and we're just going to, I'm going to make it a little smaller, and I just want to add, I want to lighten up this tree, and I want to add just a little bit of light on these branches. Maybe on where the light hits these trees in the back. Let's see how that looks. Let's change it to overlay. Yeah, and then you can continue to paint wherever you think you might want to add a highlight. And if it's too bright, just change the opacity. Lower it back down. Alright, I think we're going to leave it like that for now. Something else I wanted to do was change the color of her shirt. I don't think there was anything wrong with the purple. I just wanted to play around with it. So let me show you what I did. First, make sure the background layer is selected and then come over to your selection tool and select the shirt. And then to unselect things, hold the Alt key and just go over it. That way it gets rid of all these little things that you accidentally select which it always does oops there's always a few things around the edge here that was too far okay now we're going to click on refine and down here where it says matte we want to make sure that's selected and then we're just going to go over the hair Oops, there we go. Now, I like to look at this like that. Sometimes I think it's a little bit better. Okay, so see how it's kind of, yeah, it's not really great. Let's try and get this little hair here. Okay. So we want to get rid of these things on the outside, so we're going to go to background. And then out here on the outside, we're just going to color part of it, and it'll it'll finish choosing for you. You just click on parts of the background and it fills in the rest so that we can get rid of everything that's not the shirt. Oops. But if it doesn't do it perfect, that's okay. We just want to get it as close as possible. All 
All right, that is pretty good. So we're going to come down where it says output and new layer with mask and click apply. The mask is so that we can go back and make little adjustments later. Okay. And I know it looks crazy, but what it did was it, it turned off my background layer. We need to make sure that gets turned back on. Okay. Now let's see what color we want our shirt. So we're going to come down here to adjustments and recolor. And we're going to make sure that that gets pulled down here into our new layer we just made. Okay, now it's just the shirt. But you can see how there's some, yeah, some of the hair and up here didn't get quite done right. But that's okay. That's why the mask, so we can go back and fix it. So let's pick a color. And you can just do any color we want. Just slide this over. Do green, could do a light blue, we'll do a light blue. Maybe we'll bring the saturation down. Maybe we'll make it darker. Mm, it's like a turquoise or lighter. I don't know. Well, we'll leave it like that for now. All right, click OK. So now we can go back in to our mask layer, select on the mask layer. Make sure you've got white paint again and your brush tool and make it smaller and then we're just gonna oh hey black sorry <laughs> sometimes I still get those confused all right there we go we'll just paint around the parts that we don't want or that we want to hide just like that and you can make it really small and get right down in there if you want and if you make a mistake that's okay you can just switch back and paint it back in masks are so nice so you can get as perfect as you want we're just gonna leave it like that for now All right, now we're gonna look at it and see if there's anything we might wanna change. I don't know, I kinda like it the way it is. Might want some brighter reds. Maybe we'll make the reds brighter. Let's add a selective color layer for the reds. I'm gonna put this on top. And reds are already selected. So let's see if we can't brighten those up. And It'll change the whole picture, but don't worry about that again. We're going to invert it and paint on it, so. Let's make these reds really red. Okay, now control I. Inverts the layer. And with the brush tool and the white paint, there we go. Make our brush bigger. Oh, my computer's getting angry now. There we go. Now we can just go back and paint over these and make those reds really stand out. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And we can go back and adjust the lighting so that that's not so harsh. You can go back and adjust any way you want. Alright, let's look at the before and after. That's my favorite part. So if you click on everything with the background layer. We want to select everything, all the changes we made. So we're going to click on this first layer and then we're going to go to the top. We're going to hold the shift key and click on the top layer. And that selects all the changes we just made. And then you only have to click one and it goes back to the beginning. Well, that's how it looked in the beginning. And that's how it looks now. I think I will go back and change. I don't think I like that spot on her hair. But, yeah. That, that's how I edit pictures. I don't do it all the, the same every time. So I'll probably do more of these with showing different things that I can do. So I hope you learned something from that. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to put them below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.